Hey guys, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. Today, I'm just going to chat and I'm doing my face cleansing routine. So I'll show you that and yeah, we'll just, I, I don't know where this video is going but I wanted to make one and had some time and I thought it was so yeah cool okay so I I have these two which I use I don't know how to pronounce that name but anyway it's the deep pore charcoal cleanser and so I do that first I don't do that every day and I have this morning burst from Clean and Clear. And I probably should use this every day, but I don't. Just as often as I can. But I always wash my face every day with hot water. And sometimes I use this um, if I have makeup on. And then I always spray myself with this morning and night or basically whenever I'm going to put stuff on. I've used so much of it already. I don't come, I didn't get it very long ago. And then I use moisturizer, natural instinct, which I have loved because usually I didn't put moisturizer on until I would be putting makeup on which was kind of every day when I was working but yeah now that I do it's amazing my skin is so like not just smooth but it's like I don't know what you call it, like more bouncy sounds weird but kind of what it is basically yeah your skin is more buoyant no um your skin is more supple supple i think supple is the right word you know like i think as it got colder i kind of just stopped on days that I didn't actually have the energy to do it because a lot no one wants to splash cold water on their face for 15 minutes in the winter and now it's like there's frost on the ground in the morning and so like I'm not doing that <laughs> yeah so I do it in the shower and when I need, when I feel that I need to, basically. Also, if I've done my hair already, I usually use my little headband that I have, but um, but it doesn't matter with my hair today. It's already up, and I've slept today. I have to take it out because it's giving me a headache. <sighs> so, you're actually supposed to wet your face before you use both of these products. Which I do. But, yeah, just in case you were wondering why I put one on my face first. Water is still not hot. This one's cool. It's got like little beads in it. Vitamin C beads, I think they are. I'm gonna put my hands up. 
left because they're cold. I don't know why I, start, I didn't start this sooner because I've always had like really prominent um, pores on my nose that I've always kind of like hated. Well, not hated, but you know, like when you notice them, they annoy you. Nothing actually annoys you until you notice it, really. Or until you take notice of it. Like, they don't actually bother me, but if I'm looking in the mirror and I notice them, I'm like, ah, oh, I need to get rid of those. And then I'll forget about it for three weeks and then notice them again. I'm also hoping the moisturizer helps um, get rid of the bags under my eyes because my eyes are really dry and yeah. When you are sick all the time, like this area especially is really like dry and flaky and stuff so that fixes that. Well, it's getting warm. I get water everywhere. Where's pet dry? <coughs> Not rub. This is pretty friendly moisturizer, so I go over my lips and my eyes. And I also go up into my hairline because I have a bit of a flaky hairline at the moment. So that helps that. Go back to my room. I can take this hair. Yeah. I'm not doing much else at the moment. Holidays. Did I only have four bobby pins? Sometimes you forget how many bobby pins you put in. Wow, this is going to be crazy. Is that green? My hair is fading pretty well, by the way. I'm using the Colorista fading shampoo to speed fading to make it kind of a bit more um, even all around 
and it's definitely like some of the bits that were super purple the blue just came off straight away and now there's like a massive patch of purple in the back which is not a bad thing it's very mixed see there can there's a bit there and That doesn't look bad. Whew. Yikes. <laughs> Jesus, a big hair girl. So if you want to achieve this look, all I did was two French braids back and pin them up and then slept in them and you get this lovely mess of 20s no not 20s 50s 60s lovely curls I didn't condition my hair this week so it is a bit um it's hold stuff in a bit better. Bro, it looks like I have weird extensions and like it like is just hair. You know when everyone had those haircuts that were like here when you were like 11 and it just went out like a triangle. Comment if you had one of those haircuts. I know I did. <laughs> that was ugly times. I don't know what to talk about anymore. Um... Bunnies are doing well. If you want to see them, head over to my Instagram page. Uh, there's lots of photos of them there. They are bonding pretty well. And Aspen's coming up to six months soon. And then Winnie is uh, about two months behind him. So that'll be exciting. yeah and I'm still working on their new cage because um, I'm not a builder and I cannot make a cage for them so I either have to wait for a week in my dad's home um, so he can I can give him the plans and he can make it so that might get done this weekend, hopefully, because now there's frost on the ground, um, that means when they go outside, they get wet and stay wet and cold, which probably isn't super fun for them, but I'm having fun shopping for them. <laughs> Pretty much every time I go out, I think, recently, I, I buy something for them. Yeah. I'm making lots of this stuff, you know, like, what do you call it? Upcycling. Yeah, so. They're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, let's end it. Comment down below if you have any ideas of videos you want me to do because obviously I do not have any ideas. And when you don't have any ideas, you don't have motivation to just make one, you know? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it.
with ideas for how I should dye my hair next. If I should do that blonde. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in good thinking mood right now. Um, yeah, okay. So, bye guys. See you next time. Bye.